Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are checking a mod out called the Sorcery Overhaul mod, which is a mod that adds in a lot more content to the sorcery part of Terraria, aka the mage pretty much. So there's actually two unique features that come with this that I want to state right away, just so I remember it. Those features being that upon critical hits, some mana will be restored, can be increased by some of the accessories and armor in the mod or just even maybe vanilla Terraria. And and there's also scrolls look at this little scrolls down here if you ever played skyrim i'm assuming it's very similar to that how these are just like straight up consumable spells which that alone is already super unique right there but yes let us go ahead and check out everything here let's start with the armor accessories and also these things these spells i guess they're called vials i don't know it's a spell but yeah let's look at these i guess what does it say it says splash heals player for 26 health creates a brief lingering health cloud that Last for six seconds and heals three health ah you know what this reminds me of oh look at that it does damage too and look at this, this is a new enemy from the mod spell slime but yes you know what this reminds me of a great mod known as tremor and it's alchemist class <laughs> yeah this is already super cool and unique i'm wondering if this mod works in multiplayer and you could you know splash your boys with some multiplayer there's some poison who doesn't love throwing poison at people but very cool very cool obviously i don't think you could throw this honey and water one but that's super unique already the mod is already off to a great start but let's get to the armors here uh i guess yeah we could check out the recipe for them might as well this is gonna be a longer video but you know might as well check out the recipes boom right here so i'm assuming our first armor is this one the living wood one and as you can see made from wood living shard and then enchanted silk which i don't know if some of these are drops or what okay here we go magic essence so we get magic essence from killing magical enemies for example that slime we just killed the magic one drops magic essence this which we also craft from magic essence so magic essence is gonna play a big part in this so boom let's check out the armor here you can see the stats let's put it on let's see the sap bonus which is a living orb protects you spell power increased by one cool the set looks great let's spawn in an enemy here ah look at this so it's kind of like a uh, super weak ver okay you need to go bro it's kind of like a super weak version of the what chlorophyte set or any other set that kind of shoots a projectile off of it which is kind of cool all right next up i would assume next up would be this set this enchanted set enchanted shards okay uh where the enchanted shards at is that a drop is that a chest thing let's see aha ah look at that so you can straight up craft like one shard at a time okay or you can find enchanted items and sort of break them down which is really cool and then the essence lunar essence i'm assuming the stars yeah look at that so boom yeah craft this let's put it on here wait hold up go ahead and check out the stats on it right there and now let's put it on look at this this is probably the coolest looking one so far it's not like we've seen all of them but this is my favorite so far set bonus every third magic attack shoots an enchanted blast spell power increased by three enchanted tome and enchanted gauntlet mana cost reduced by 50 let's i guess let's pull out like a really simple weapon let's pull out this shade wood staff so every third shot you get a little stronger shot or a little blast that comes out very cool and obviously there's a set bonus for the enchanted weapons in this mod look the enchanted tome and then there's a gauntlet cool but uh, i don't want to check those out yet on to the next come on let's get this going here uh we got these bars i'm gonna just go straight to this set look at that that's how you craft them cool all right how do we craft the set itself this one deep slate you just make them straight out of the bars plain and simple boom let's put it on cool looking let's see the set bonus uh, magic attacks inflict heavy burns on enemies immune to fire blocks cool next set we kind of got this like graveyard looking set look at that that's the rest p very cool let's see what those bars are made out of or how to make them right here cool nice and easy recipe a hard mode set you love to see it here's the stats if you guys need to look at that and then the sub bonus magic attacks have a chance to summon in lightning strikes and dark explosions on the impact dark explosions cause enemies to decay each fourth magic attack casts a fireball again you know, might as well go over the Ebonwood staff this time, but let's see it in action here. Let's see it in action. Look at the lightning. Look at the fireballs. Cool. All right, but there was all the armor sets. Again, my favorite looking one is probably the enchanted one. And uh, that one is probably in the thumbnail. You looked at it in the thumbnail before you came here today. That one literally pulled you into the video. Unless you're just a loyal fan and you watch all my videos. All 12 of you. 
I accidentally just broke that statue. You hate to see it. Whatever, it's not going to be red anymore. All right, let's check out the accessories. There's a good bit of them. Let's just grab all of them, check them all out at once. And we might as well check out this vanity. Familiar looking beard. A beard for those who have bad hair jeans. I, I don't know, for all those bald people out there, I guess. Look at that. Wow. Let's quickly run through these accessories. Because I know what you guys want to see. You guys want to see the weapons. So let's let's do this. We got the pure stone. Gives us max life increased by 40. Life regen slightly increased. We got conjurer's crystal. Increases our mana. Increases our life. Uh, gives us critical strike mana recovery increase by 2. Spell power increase. Cool. And then we got the clear stone, which is just the mana side. So I'm assuming you combine these two and you make this one. Very nice. Is there recipes? Yes, there is. Look at that. Cool. Okay, let me just grab these accessories in order of... Of if they have a crafting recipe or not might as well that makes our life a little bit easier right it looks like legit all of them have a crafting recipe nice okay we got this one aether amulet boom there's a recipe what does it do greatly increased invincibility time after being hit when hit the player receives the arcane buff which increases magic capabilities arcane buff has a 30 second cooldown after being activated nice my question is does it have a look when it's on the character it does not look like it okay this one arcane orb holds pure sorcery magic magic damage critical strike chance increased by five percent cool we got the arcane shield uh defense increased by 12 percent when hit a magic barrier is created around the player dealing damage to anything that comes near you the power of magic barrier scales with magic critical strike chance has a 10 second cooldown grants knockback fire immunity cool this one i expect to have a look yes okay uh let me see here let me get out of god mode i don't know where where'd all the enemies go there were so many enemies earlier but now there doesn't want to be any there we go look at that Wow, does great damage too. This is a new world. That was really decent damage. All right, what's the recipe for that one? Boom. Oh, okay. It's understandable why it does good damage then. All right, next up, we got this one. Chaos Enchantment. There's the recipe. Debuff spread to nearby enemies every second. Reply debuffs quickly disappear. Cool. After that, we got the uh, Corrupted Ringlet. Uh, magic attacks may cause enemies to rot or decay after 250 damage is dealt small homing corrupt particles are released homing particles inflict rotting debuff on to the next accessory here we have the enchanted shield boom recipe magic inc magically increases defense the lower your health the greater the protection has a maximum defense of 12 of course it has a look it's a shield uh stardust loophole increases maximum mana increases magic damage increases mana usage cool just putting it on really quick just to see if they have a look uh molten ring while in combat a phoenix is that how you spell phoenix i don't know will occasionally dive bomb your enemies magic stats have a chance to set enemies on fire that's cool what's the recipe nice technically i am fighting there we go there's the phoenix there we go all right last but not least overgrown pendant boom enemies explode in a vault thorns when killed magic stats have a chance to poison enemies cool cool let's see it in action here explode into vile thorns please boom nice that's a good crowd control weapon right there all right there you go that's all the accessories let's get to the things that people care about now all right so i have the weapons somewhat organized a little bit uh let's start with the tomes let's grab all of them i'm legit gonna grab all of them we'll do them at once here starting with the leaf tome rapidly pelt your enemies with leaves slightly inaccurate let's see here that's actually not bad given that this is probably a really early game weapon not bad next up we got the permafrost come on more enemies spawning let me let me like double the spawn rate or something i want the enemies to just come in so i don't have to do anything that'll make my life a lot easier very cool says it has a chance to freeze enemies uh weaker enemies very nice on to the next one berry tome shoots a rock that smashes open upon impact and freezes enemies cool like the animation on this one. Ooh, I like all the rocks that it shoots everywhere. That's awesome. Next up, the magma wave. Just a slow moving wave of magma. Let's see it. Ooh, okay. Does that home? Does that home? No, it doesn't. It was just a really great shot. Good job, game readers. But look at that. Amazing. Actually, it might do something. You see how it moves a little bit? Maybe it just moves. Maybe that's what's up. Let's look at it. Yeah, it kind of has a little movement to it when you shoot it. Very nice. Next up, the zap creates a brief electric current at the player's cursor, releasing tendrils of electricity. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. This one seems like it would clap some cheeks, especially a group of cheeks. Like, look at that. They're all stacked up. They're all dead. Next up, we have the dark tome. Harness the power of dark magic, shoots a dark bolt of magic, causes enemies to decay. Boom. Ooh, I like how this looks. Very unique colors. You don't see these colors too often in Terraria in terms of like 
on a projectile. One thing I could think of that does have these colors is the for the forbidden stuff. This stuff right here is very good colors. Black and yellow go together. Next up, the tumor. Shoots tumors which briefly lash on the enemies until they die, drains enemy life upon critical hits. Only one tumor can be alive at once. Let's see. Come on, where the enemies at? I'll multiply by five. Come on. Let's see. Oh, Oh, damn, this is kind of like a summon. A projectile and a summon mixed together. And it's pretty damn strong. I might have to summon in some stronger enemies here. Let's get some skeletons. Boom. Oh, my God. It's kind of like the Piranha Gun. On to the next one. Enchanted Tome rapidly shoots bolts of pure magic. Very nice and simple one. After that is the Shadow Tome launches a piercing dark magic bolt, causes enemies to decay. Decaying effects stack twice. I'm uh, noticing decay being used a lot. Decay is just a damage over time effect. Uh, very nice. Might do some other things. Might lower some defense. I don't know. Don't hear about decay too often. The Relic launches a dusty fossil that creates an explosion of sand on impact. Creates piercing rocks that linger on the ground and damage enemies that step on them. Linger rocks shrink and eventually explode. Okay, so one thing I'm liking about this mod so far is that the weapons are like really unique. Really in depth. They have a lot of stuff. So it's not like just, it's, you know, you got ones like this that just shoot a projectile. And they got ones like this that explode, leave damaging things on the floor after they explode. And then the rocks themselves explode. It's like there's so much to it and you love to see it. Next up, the Weeper. Cast a blast of dark magic, cause enemies to decay longer, decay effect, hit another decaying weapon. <laughs> Ooh, I'm telling you, these colors really, really look good together. After that, we have the Ashen Tome. Launches a deep slate assault from the skies. Let's see it awesome these i feel like would all be great weapons against the uh, goblin invasion shoot anything that pierces is good against the goblin invasion next up the wizard's tome launches a rapid assault of magic central bolt homes in on enemies let's see it oh man these ones are getting stronger we might have to bring in some enemies here uh dr manfly welcome okay might be a little too strong but it's still doing good damage after that necrotic tome launches a volley of life stealing dark orbs bounces off of walls whoa i'm loving the animations on these it just looks really good you usually don't see like black projectiles too often either so i don't know maybe that's just like a charm the lack of black projectiles in terraria but let's see it here against some vicious penguins what an interesting enemy to test on our last two tomes are the reaper and zion's dream tome or Jean's, i don't know the reaper it was in the restricted section consumes your foe in dark magic oh there's those black projectiles again let's see it against a hard mode enemy i believe these are hard mode tomes i think we're gonna definitely have to be hard mode tomes but these are beautiful you love to see more tomes in terraria there honestly isn't enough well there's a decent amount but like they're really spread out in the game and next up the dream tome summons coils of dreamy flames around the player explodes with a splash of color let's see this against a boss why not so do i just hold it down i guess i just hold it down and just like that king slime is dead very very strong weapon cool also looks amazing all the sprites are amazing in this all right so i got our next set of weapons here tridents i'm not talking about the gum either we got these tridents and as you can see they shoot bolts in a little trident pattern nice little three piece and uh you know this is pretty cool i like the idea of them adding in like pretty much a whole different weapon and they added in a bunch of them obviously for each gem but on top of that not only do they have one for each gem but they have a rainbow one which i believe combines all of them together let me just make sure yes sir look at that and obviously the rainbow one is gonna be the strongest out of all of them because it's all of them in one there you go we went through all the super quick because you know that's how gem stabs usually work next up mossy one shoots a sphere of natural energy releases green bolts of energies at nearby enemies let's see it Ooh, so it's kind of like uh what's that one hard mode weapon when you get the magnet sphere it's kind of like that uh next up we got the staff of sparking shoots a wave of sparks come on where the enemies at didn't i put this to five times here we go a little wave of sparks so it seems like a very strong or not very strong but a stronger staff of sparking not too much stronger though it's still just you know a wand of sparking upgrade but i don't know man i've seen the wand of sparking get pretty far in the game but yeah we checked these ones out earlier the shadewood and Edwin staff they're just pretty much just regular stabs nothing too much next up though we'll go over these scrolls so these scrolls if you ever played skyrim you probably understand what these do you find scrolls you use them they're sort of a one-time thing pretty much a consumable spell and uh, let's start with this one the charred one creates a massive explosion of fire on use 
amazing. I don't know if the developer got the idea, you know, came up with the idea themselves, or if they were inspired off of Skyrim or any other game that has consumable scrolls. Next up is the Tundra one. C creates a massive explosion of ice. Ah, look at that. And you actually do hold the tome in your hand. I wasn't even paying attention to that. That's pretty cool. And look, it leaves the uh, projectile behind, like the uh, scythe. That's cool. Next up, Tsunami Scroll summons a variety of oceanic attacks on use. This one sounds like it's going to be strong. So let me summon in some enemies here. Boom. <sighs> clean i'm assuming we get this from the duke probably i feel like that would make sense that we get that from the duke but very very cool i hope they're easy to get your hands on or else like you know people wouldn't use them that often i feel like the reason people use them in skyrim because you know you find them and either you sell them or you just use them <laughs> just because you have them you know might as well all right let's get on to the other weapons here let me just grab a couple let's grab uh these ones at the bottom here go over these we got this one bramble bracer left click to shoot a burst of poisonous wooden spikes right click to slash enemies very cool sort of a hybrid weapon so if we want to shoot some projectiles boom if we want to slash at things boom might as well it does do magic damage so this is like a range weapon a melee weapon and a magic damage weapon all in one that's pretty crazy next up is the enchanted gauntlet left click to launch your fist right click to empower your next enchanted fist let's see it boom go fist Go, go, gadget fist. I love fisting enemies. All right, what's the right click? Empower your next enchanted fist. So do I like right click and then left click? I don't know. Yeah, you right click and then left click. I don't know if you gotta do it every time. I think maybe it's just like for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Pretty cool though. After that, we have the pocket fireball. Useful for a mage on the run. Briefly lights enemies on fire. Very, very simple concept, but very, very unique and I like it. It's literally just pocket fireballs. <laughs> Next up, we have enchanted daggers, like a knife, but magic. True, true. Sort of a uh, pre-hard mode version of the magic dagger, I would assume. After that, we have a couple of guns. Starting with this one, chain space gun. Rapidly shoots lasers, slightly inaccurate. Let's see. Oh, interesting noise. Kind of don't like it. <laughs> I think I like the uh, the meteor gun. Pew, pew, pew. Even uh, even after they changed it in 1.4, it wasn't that bad. Next up, the energy blaster launches green spheres of energy that explode into miniature homing particles. Let's see it. Ooh. Pretty cool. I like these. Maybe I just like space weapons in general. And that's why I like these. Uh, it's a little slow in terms of shooting, but the projectiles that it leaves after makes up for that. So not too bad. After that, we have the radiation cannon. Launches an ion blast, which explodes into lots of homing particles. Inflicts radiation sickness. Ooh. We giving things radiation. We playing Fallout now. Give them radiation. Go ahead. All right, there you go. There was those weapons. Let's get into the next ones here. All right, so we have some more interesting weapons to check out here. Some of them, as you can see, they have spell power attached to them. Now, I'm not 100% sure how the spell power thing works. I'm assuming, you know, you wear stuff that adds more spell power, the better the weapon is. For example, this increases spell power by five, and there's probably a couple accessories that also do the same. And as you can see, the number went up on these. So let's just try these out. Let's see what happens. Shoots a weak magic bolt, inflicts cleansing debuff, which causes enemies to release healing orbs. Healing orbs scale with spell power. Cool. Very cool. Wow, this thing actually is not bad. So you get the healing orbs. Maybe you can use the healing orbs on allies and stuff boom bada bing onto the next apprentice tome shoots a magical bolt that bounces off of walls also inflicts the uh, cleansing thing so boom more healing orbs uh we have the sorcerer's tome also incl inflicts cleansing i'm assuming do both of these inflict cleansing no just the tomes uh let's see let's see this one in action this one's cool again a lot of really good animations on these uh weapons and stuff all right ancient one creates a healing rune around the cursor any enemy that touches the runes are poisoned Ooh, let me zoom out for this Ooh, very cool very cool so you get healed in here this is awesome it's cool that there's like a little subclass, I guess. Gore Drinker. Right click to shoot a bloody projectile that inflicts draining. Left click to launch a bloody spine, which life seals against enemies inflicted with draining. Okay. Very interesting. I think these enemies might be a little too weak for it. But still, very cool, very unique. All right, on to the staves. These will be the last things we check out in this mod. There's a bunch of them. Let's start with these ones. Stardust Slicer shoots rapidly rotating star discs. Let me see it in action. Ooh, that's cool. Reminds me of the uh, pumpkin, I think. 
does the pump king have an attack like that where like it stays in place and rotates i don't know maybe remembering wrong next up wildfire the lorax is coming for you hold left click to cast a concentrated blast of fire let's burn the force down don't show this to mr beast don't show it to the lorax especially thunder staff it was zeus's favorite toy as a baby cast a small bolt of lightning let me see how small this is that's not bad that's not bad. Honestly, that might be regular size bolt of lightning. After that, we have Celestial Sky. Shoots a pair of rapidly rotating star discs. Okay, so it's just multiple and they home in. Cool. Very, very cool. Very, very unique. Awesome. On to the next Aurora's Staff. Zaps any enemy that comes near you or hit you. Can target multiple enemies. Ooh, okay. Got a little projectile shield around me. Projectile aura around me. Sweet. Storm Sender. Cast multiple bolts of lightning which bounce off the of walls. The forked lightning now deals half damage. So I'm assuming if it bounces, it does half damage. Cool. I like it. Hailstorm. Rapidly rains frozen bombs from the sky. Let me see these bombs. Doesn't shoot too many at once, but still not bad. Next up, the Demon Wave and the Blood Rippler. This one creates swirling shockwave on impact. This one creates swirling shockwave of blood on impact, of course. The crimson version so it's blood let's see the blood oh my god so crazy after that we have the molderer right click to shoot an infectious projectile that inflicts rotting let's see that one first very nice inflicts things with rotting uh left click to launch a piercing rotting tooth which deals more damage against rotting enemies so you hit him with the left click then you hit him with the right click wait i was doing the wrong click i was right clicking okay it's all good you still you still get it fiend fire set the whole bloody place on fire hold left click to cast a massive concentrated blast of deep burning fire oh my god <laughs> this is pretty good i like this one this one literally melts things next up deep slate staff launches a volley of flame and rocks seems to be a theme with the deep slate stuff flames and rocks Lava Core Staff launches a volley of frozen and flaming rocks. More rocks, this time frozen and flaming ones. The Cyclone, left click to cast countless forks of lightning. Let's see it. Ooh, this one looks awesome. Right click to drop a devastating thunderbolt for 25 mana. Lightning Cold is jumped to nearby enemies. Let's see it in action here. Ooh. Just a little, little blast of lightning we're hitting things with. Nothing too crazy. And I believe these are our last three weapons in this current version that I'm checking out. Let's see them. We have the Death Eater wand. Hold left click to turn into a dark spiral. Rapidly drains your mana. Homing rotting skulls are released while active. Allows the player to go through walls. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is like something out of like Harry Potter, bro. This is crazy. Let me see this against a boss. King Slime. Let's just go through the wall. Hold up. Go down here. And then we come back up here. And then we go down here. And then we come back up here. <laughs> this is amazing. This is probably the coolest weapon in the mod so far. Next up is the Supernova. Left click to shoot a pair of rapidly rotating star discs that home in on enemies. Okay, we've seen that. And right click to plant a deadly Supernova. So we got the left click, you know, nice and simple left click, you know. We've seen this one on the other weapons. But let's see a Supernova. Okay, it does like a little explosion after. Damn, okay. Obviously, the deeper we get with the weapons, the crazier they're gonna be. So this one I expect to be the craziest. It is the highest damage one, but that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be insane. The glacier shoots a huge blast of piercing ice at high speeds, fills the sky with icy shards flung out of the projectiles. Okay, let me see it in action here. Yeah, you see this one, not exactly the craziest. Uh, I definitely think the Death Eater one is the coolest. But still, not bad. Does high damage. Does a lot of damage. Does high damage. You like to see it. But yes, there you go. There was the Sorcery Overhaul mod. Make sure to check it out. Shout out to the developers, the spriters, everyone that has worked on it. Keep an eye on this mod. This mod might be a go-to. This mod might be a go-to. It might be a must-have because it makes the mage way better. So check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time.